Hello, hello, hello. Fires to roll. Welcome, 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 babies. If you're new here, welcome back. If you are returning, come on in, my loves. Get your shit, get your shit, get your shit, and get comfortable. Because we about to make it do what it do, loves, okay? So we're going to jump into this Divine Connection read and see what the message is. See who we're talking about. What Spirit wants you to know. For your greatest and highest good when it comes to your Divine Connections at this time. Okay. And we do need it to jump. Okay, Spirit... The message for our divine connections at this time. What do they need to know? Okay, somebody healing for love here, baby. He's doing the work. So I feel like this divine masculine. He out here healing for love. He's doing the work. What was this? A gamble. So he took some type of risk, some type of gamble, and it possibly didn't pay off. He possibly ended up hurt. But now he's doing the shadow work. He's healing for love here. Tell me more, spirit. What's going on here? Yeah, because they can't get you off their mind. They want to come take this chance with you here. Tell me more about this connection here. Hmm. So they're coming in to make the fat sacrifice. They want to take a chance here with you in this connection. What's going on here, spirit? They want to know, is it too late? I'm going to reach out to ask you on a date. Please don't say no. So they're going to take this risk. They're going to take a chance. They finna take this big ass leap of faith here, babies, because they can't stop thinking about you. They can't get you off their mind. They're finna make the sacrifices and take this chance here. They're gonna do the work. They're healing for love. They're gonna take this chance. They're taking a gamble here, risk. Yeah, I feel like in the past they had been lying about where they've been, lying about what they were doing, but they they no longer want to lie. They could have been lying about their feelings. Uh oh, hold on. Hit the floor, y'all. Yeah, look, they lied in the past. It says, Sorry, I lied to you. Can I make it right? Please give me a chance. So, this divine masculine, they are healing, they're doing the work, they're ready to make the sacrifice. They're going to take this chance. They want to come in and make up. They lied to you. Possibly about where they were going, what they were doing, who they were doing it with, right? But they can't get you off their mind. They could have been just lying about their feelings. They could have said they didn't feel nothing for you when all actuality they did. But they want to come fix it. And they're asking that you give them a chance here. Yeah. So you walked away from this connection. Or they walked away from you. Or they could have separated from another connection. But I feel like this is you guys. And now they're having hope that you guys can fix this here. If there was a third party, they have walked away from this third party. They have left this third party. Yeah, because they want success and happiness with you. Anything else here, Spirit? We got a few that fell out. It's just a lot. Hold on. That's just too many. Hold on. It was too many. One or two at a time, Spirit. Not too many. Yeah, so your person knows. It says Divine Femme knows exactly what she or he wants. Not selling for no bullshit. So they know you're not selling for no bullshit. And they know what you their success and happiness. And they did lie in the past. And they do want to come fix it. They are apologizing here. They want to make it right. They do not want this connection to be over. And they're hoping that you give them a chance. They're praying that you don't ever stop loving them. And they know. They knew better. And at the time they just didn't care. Okay, I mean, that's just real truth. That's honesty. When they were lying, they knew better. They just didn't care at the time. But now, since you walked away from this connection, you separated yourself, you ended it, they have not been able to get you off their mind. And they realize that they have been lying to themselves and to you. Now they don't want you to ever stop loving them. They see success and happiness in this connection. They want to be with you. Yeah, they know that you don't trust them. But they're hoping that they can rebuild the trust here. Yeah. It says, I lied to you and myself. I do love you. I told you they could have just lied about their feelings. 
They could have been just lying about their feelings. I lied to you and myself. Okay, and they know that you may not trust them, but they're hoping they can rebuild the trust. Yes, they could have been dealing with somebody that tried to blackmail them to stay in the connection. This could have been why they played games with you. Because whatever it was, they did do something. There was a third party here or, or something of that nature. Because they knew better, they just didn't care. So somebody could have been blackmailing them, trying to keep them away from you. Confirmation. But they want you to know that they're different now. Whatever bad habits they have, they're releasing that. They're healing. And they want to come lick you up and down. Okay, so they miss you sexually as well. They were dealing with a femme fatale, y'all. Somebody that um, um, had inappropriate use of sensuality, attachments to money and power. And this femme fatale was who was trying to blackmail your person to stay. That's that karmic energy, the third party. Yeah, they could have been married or committed to this person. And this person was trying to keep them here, trying to get them to stay, even though they knew this connection was over. So your person could have could have separated and divorced from the third party. And now they're healing to come towards you. Because they realized the person that they were dealing with, the third party, was just there for sexual money and power. Yeah. And it was the right action they took. They let everything that wants to go, go, and everything that wants to come, come. So they took the right action here when it comes to the karmic. They released the bad habits. Okay, they've ended this connection where they were married or committed. And they're headed towards you here. They're, they're healing. They're doing the work. They want success and happiness here. Divine fam. Anything else? They want you to know you got this and they see it. Mad that you're doing it. I feel like that's the karmic. They know you got this. They see you doing it and they mad because you're doing it. Yeah, and this divine masculine is sing singing your praises. Yeah, oh, they didn't found out that um, this karmi may not know who the baby daddy is. Who's the daddy? She don't know. Okay, so this baby may not even belong to them. And now the family is gossiping. They could be gossiping about you or gossiping about whoever this baby mama is because they don't know who the baby daddy is. Final card here. Yeah, so your person or spirit could be telling you to let go of the need to be right. Your person could finally be letting go of the need to always want to be right. And they're coming towards you. Yeah, this karmic was playing games to get what they wanted. And they could have tried with this blackmail to stay. They could have told them they were pregnant to keep them there. And it wasn't no baby or they don't know who the baby daddy was for sure. Yeah, Divine Master says, I want to get you a ring, but I'm afraid you're going to say no. This karmic, your person, you could drive a Lyft, Uber, etc. But somebody learned some lessons. Somebody could still be in school as well. They could have school age children here. I was just finna say somebody could say they were going to school or driving for Lyft and was out having secret relationships and shit, okay? And now your person is gathering their strength and standing in their power. I feel like this is the third party. Yeah, because they want to come towards you and they want to try one more time. They've been talking to an auntie or a cousin about you and this connection. That auntie and cousin pop out a lot, too. One more for this divine connection before we close off the street. Somebody could drive a Camry. They could come and invite you to the movies. They are no longer investing another minute into this third party. They got out and they're running. And they're coming towards you. They are afraid of your judgment, but they're going to take the leap. Well, yeah, housing changes at the bottom of the deck. Okay. They could have found out this person was sleeping with their friend. It's your fake, it's your fake ass friend they're sleeping with. The secret relationship confirmation. But good karma is headed your way and your divine master's way here. Okay. Somebody could drive a Nissan. But they are in or want a relationship. Okay. And everything that was done in the dark is now coming to light. Somebody could have been in the same sex connection. Somebody just happy, loving, at peace. They're ascending to the next level here. Somebody could be an older man, a sugar daddy. We got mid-age, 30 to 40s. Everything is always extreme with the karmic over the top. So this karmic is extreme as shit. But I feel like you and this divine masculine is coming to a windfall of happiness, peace, money, love, abundance, and the check is in the mail. Okay? Divine masculine wants to come towards you. They can't find the right words, but they will. Um, they watch your channel, whatever you post. If you do Snap, Tarot, videos, Facebook, music, TikTok, Insta, whatever, they're watching. They have now released the um, third party detachment release so they can become whole 
and they're gonna come towards you to apologize they're sorry they have received karma what they dish out is what you get back but they are not giving up hope you heard it in the confirmation they're not giving up hope okay don't you either don't give up hope you got new coming new car new job new house new money it's coming to you here divine film new job okay because shit is hitting the fan with the karmic in this situation with the daddy okay the, <laughs> who's the daddy of the baby your person is missing the hell out of you and they're ready to take the next step they are truly releasing their past because this this person is two-faced and they got mental issues they bipolar they're narcissists they play victim all the time they're coming to where they're sincerely happy okay they could be asking themselves why did they cheat on you why did they go to this third party this third party could also be asking why did they cheat because they losing their shit now okay but your person wants to come back and this third party tried to trap them with a baby confirmation the ding ding so if it resonates with you let me know guys don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. This is another episode of As the Tarot Turns on this crazy ass karmic shit, okay? Divine connections here. But the shit is hitting the fan, love, okay? Your person is doing what they need to do to come back towards you. They're sorry, they lied, they're coming to make it right. You make them sincerely happy. Confirmation again. Yeah. The third party cheated on your person and tried to cheat, trap them with a baby. Confirmation again. This person is mental. They're coming towards you to take the next steps. They missed the hell out of you. They're releasing what no longer serves them, okay? So if this resonates with you guys, let me know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Until next time, you keep rocking with me. I'm going to keep rocking with you. Love, light, and peace. Bye, my TTE babies.